dear students today we are going to learn how to form three digit numbers so far in the previous classes you have learned to count from 1 to 99 so we are going today to learn how to form three digit numbers as we all know up to 99 when we add 1 we get the first three digit number that is equal to 100 okay it has got three digits that is why called three digit numbers okay the first three digit number is 100 then it goes on 101 102 and it goes on up to 999 and we can also say that 100 is equal to 100 ones or 10 times of tens we can say once again the 100 100 is equal to there are one hundreds and or otherwise we can say that it is a set of 10 tens okay i hope it is clear for that i will show you an example you see there is a one column and i have written it as one the column there is only one column now we have 10 columns that is why i have written on the top 10 columns it means there are 10 one columns okay there is firstly there is one column and now there are 10 columns that means there are 10 one columns in it and now we will look there are 101 columns or we can say there is a set of 10 each 10 columns do you understand now you see uh, it may be easy for you to if you look into the image first image one there is one column and in the second there are 10 columns just like one okay so it is also called as tens and in the third part you see there are 101 columns or you can say 10 set of 10 columns i hope you understand how it comes okay so now we are going to uh, represent the three digit numbers according to the place value table okay so previously we have learned that in two digit numbers we draw two tables okay ones and tens now when it comes to three digit numbers one more column is added to the left side of the table okay and that column is called 100 okay the third digit is added there okay so we are now we are having one more additional table before the table and that is called 100 and 100 is bigger than tens and ones that we know the last digit the first digit in the number that is 100 is bigger than tens and ones for example we are going to write 245 in the place value table okay now you see in ones table we have written 5 that is ones five ones are there there are four tens the four tens column we have written four that means there are four tens that means 40 and also in the 100 column we have written 2 that means 2 hundreds are there therefore there are 2 hundreds four tens and five ones okay